so there's a family that uh, engaged with me a while back. And over time, I got to know all their kids. And one day they brought in one kid that I hadn't met yet. She was coming in because I'm an osteopath and I do muscle skeletal things all the time. And I was doing an adjustment for her. And, and I saw this kid and I said, holy cow, I'm going to pause our visit today with mom and I'm going to just address this kid. And I spent an hour and 15 minutes asking questions and, and diving into his, his details. And, and he was sick. You can tell when a sick person walks into your office, you just know all your red flags go off and all your spider senses and all that. How old was he? Sorry to interrupt, but how old? Yeah, he was 13. He, 13? Hadn't, okay. he hadn't grown in a couple of years. Uh, he was he was profoundly anemic just on physical exam. So so I just talked to him, and and after asking a few more questions, I said, well, there's something going on, and I'm exam. He had this abdominal mass, and and I thought it was cancer, and you know, it was terrible. Um, but we did some tests, and we did some ultrasounds, and we and and all very affordably ultrasounds, like about 160 bucks, and the tests were like 25 dollars, and we were able to pull from from just a, a little bit of money just pull out a good diagnosis and, and and it ended up having a stage 3b renal failure uh he had hydronephrosis he was profoundly impacted in uh and he had a, a pretty rare syndrome called hinman syndrome I, I sent him to the university of utah uh the urology department and the nephrology department and i just worked with these specialists right and so direct primary care doctors are not all cowboys but we we take good care of people <laughs> and uh and so i worked with the nephrologist the urologist and the gi doc and uh, and we got this kid the care that he needed, and, and really saved his life. I mean, I think he would have been in just catastrophic mode in the, in the next few months. And it's just those kinds of things because I was able to recognize a situation in a fee for service thing. There would have been blinders on, right? Absolutely, <laughs> so, absolutely. Your mom, there's nobody else in this office, and it's just you. And I see your kid over there that's really sick, and and yo, know, you should make an appointment for him in three weeks when I can get him in and spend five minutes with him, not ask. Right. For